Jeffrey Epstein's then-secret 2008 plea deal now under renewed scrutiny. Back then, he was sentenced to 13 months for soliciting prostitution with a minor, which critics called way too lenient. It could be far different this time after prosecutors yesterday charged the wealthy financier with sex trafficking. Contemporaneous with the arrest of Epstein at Teterboro Airport, agents executed a search warrant on his uh, mansion in uh, New York City. Agents seized uh, evidence, including uh, nude photographs of what appear to be underage girls. I'm joined now by best-selling author James Patterson, who wrote Filthy Rich, The Billionaire's Sex Scandal. Um, Mr. Patterson, most people know you from the, the, all of your amazing Alex works Cross, of fiction yeah. and, 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 and every airport and everybody has read this. This was nonfiction. Yeah. And why I mean, did you decide to write this? What drew me into this is, one, I live in Palm Beach. Um, that was a little piece. But the bigger piece is, you see how upset people are now, now that they hear this story, the injustice, but also what happened to these kids. Uh, you know, allegedly, maybe a hundred kids, maybe more than that, young girls. And um, the people that I got involved with, uh, Tim Malloy was a, a journalist down there, um, um, uh, uh, John Connolly, who was involved with Vanity Fair, was an investigative reporter. They felt this hurt and this pain and whatever right from 2006, and it never went away and it never got solved. And, you know, they just felt it was such a terrible thing. And then I said, well, you know what? We were originally we were going to do a documentary or movie. Uh, and I said, no, I'm going to, I want to do a book. And so you know. hired investigators to yes. dig into this. Yeah, we had three nasty, heavy duty mm -hmm. private eyes who went around and uh, dug up as much as we could. And from that, um, now, this book came out in 2016. 2016. And yeah. so this, you had all this reporting done beforehand. Yeah. Of course, people have brought up Bill Clinton, uh, yeah. former president. Listen to, let me t read to you part of his statement. He sure. says he's not spoken to Epstein in well over a decade and has never been to Little St. James Island, Epstein's ranch in New Mexico, or his residence in Florida. Mm -hmm. But you did have uh, Joe Lockhart um, saying this on CNN just a little bit ago, talking about the number of flights being much larger than the number that the Clintons said last night. Let's watch that. Sure. On the Clinton matter, um, you know, I, I stay in touch with the foundation and I know, uh, you know, to clear up the, you know, the, the, the trips versus the flights, um, I think the number was 26 or 27. Each of these trips, and I've been on many of these trips where you go to Asia or you go to Africa, and each flight is counted. So each trip will be six or seven different flights. Um, I've, I know uh, most of the Clinton circle. Um, Jeffrey Epstein's not part of it. And then you write in the book, um, for Epstein, getting on that plane with Clinton was more like a moment in Caddyshack, the one in which the groundhog peeks out from his hole in the golf course. From therein, Jeffrey Epstein was like the mole in a game of whack-a-mole. It was only a matter of time before he'd be caught. Was this sort of an open secret, what was happening which? down in Palm Beach? Or uh, no, 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 no. I don't Epstein? think people knew. I mean, I think people who were saying they had no idea, I believe it. I, I believe Bill Clinton didn't know. And oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I don't, and I know Trump didn't know. Nobody. And no, no, I, President Trump said I'm gonna earlier. Ha I'm bringing uh, uh, friends of mine are coming and they live on the street that, mm -hmm. and they didn't know. They didn't know. That, no, who would know? No, this? I, I, mean, I, like I, can, so I can understand obscene. that. Yeah. Um, how do you think Jeffrey Epstein actually made his money? That seems to be another. Uh, that's that's one of the things that nobody has been able to figure out. That and I mean, look, how did he get a teaching job at Dalton with no college degree? That's impossible. But he did it. I don't, President Trump said earlier that he had a falling out with Epstein about 15 years ago. Do you know what that was about? Well, I know that um, uh, th there were some complaints about Epstein at, at Mar-a-Lago. And also, I, I spoke to the, uh, 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 the head of the uh, spa there. And she said that I said, did you ever meet Epstein? She said, oh, yes. She said he would come and he was inappropriate with some of the younger women there. And she said, I went to Mr. Uh, Mr. Trump and, and Trump threw him out of the club. Mm -hmm. Um, Kevin Spacey uh, said this, uh, this is in the book, Epstein's flown Bill Clinton to Africa on a private jet, not the Gulfstream he owns, but his Boeing 727, uh, customized with its own trading floor so that the former president could promote his various and worthy causes. Just for fun, Chris Tucker, the comedian, Clinton's pal, Kevin Spacey, had tagged along for the ride. And because you've done all this investigative work, do you think that even though there, you say there are possibly 100 victims that we're talking about, yeah. that none of these people knew? I, I don't think they did. And, and why would they? Look, I mean, did anybody know about Matt Lauer? Right. I doubt it. 
I doubt it. Did they know about well, the, Charlie Harvey, Rose? Well, what about Harvey Weinstein? I mean, people did I do, know about I think, that. Well, I don't know if they knew exactly, but they certainly knew that there were issues there. Mm -hmm. well, this is a fascinating uh, book here. So this is the nonfiction book that you wrote. In the break, you told me that you think that this whole scandal is the worst of the Me Too movement. Why? I think, I, uh, well, you know, you, whatever happened with Cosby is terrible stuff uh, with... Uh, um, Harvey. Harvey. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing, but they were adults. So it was horrifying, but, you know, mm -hmm. th these are girls. These are, and, and, you know, allegedly hundreds of girls. And the Palm Beach police had, you know, 20, 30 interviews. So you have these interviews in the, in the book. book? Yeah, I mean, the Miami Herald did a great job, and that's terrific. Most, a lot of that was in the book. The one thing that, they, and they did get the girls as, as women, as 30-year-old women, and that's interesting. In the book, we have the police interviews of them when they were, when they were kids and what happened, and that's devastating. And the police had it all. I, I mean, so then, this, this was, then you have to like presume that, that Alex Acosta then the U.S. attorney, now the labor secretary, that he had it too? The rumors, yeah, oh, for sure, for sure. They had the evidence. And that's why the police department was blown away when they heard, and they heard like everybody else after it was a done deal, that there was a deal. They were like, this is impossible. You, you, you can't have thrown away all this evidence. Do you think it's because he, Epstein was so rich and the powerful rumors, that he had the best lawyers? The rumors were, for what they're worth, uh, one that the the the, uh, the prosecutors were were frightened of of the the team that Epstein had put together with Dershowitz and Starr and you know they were just they didn't want another OJ and and who mm -hmm. would the second thing was I think the pro the uh, the defense had said they're going they were eviscerate these girls on the stand they were kids they they would paint them as prostitutes and it would be a horror show. But then the other controversial thing is that the plea agreement is, is kept from the victim. So they, they don't know that all of this is happening. Right. And that's a oh, big huge. bone of contention. Huge, huge, huge. And also that they give immunity to everyone at attached, all the, you know, the different people that were out procuring for Epstein. Yeah, so it's not like no one knew. Like we've talked, we talked earlier in, in the first block about um, that these famous people that knew Epstein that maybe they didn't know anything. But there were people who were helping him, and they got immunity. How is that? I, that's another part of the, the, the justice that, that mm -hmm. uh, astounds people, and it should. What's the mood in Palm Beach right now about this? You know, it's interesting. I, down there, after, after the, book, the book came out in 2000, 2016, I had hundreds and hundreds of people come up and say, thank you for writing that book, mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, we don't really want to have that story out about the town. But it really wasn't about the town, because nobody knew. I mean, you, you can't do something like that. If anybody knows, I mean, I, I have friends who are in town right now, they live on that street. Mm -hmm. They didn't know. They live like two, two There's houses There's no one uh, in the world of publishing today that can end a story like you. But well, how do you I think set this, this up. That's how exactly, do you think this is going to end? This is no accident that we got them. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the way the story <laughs> <laughs> But how do you think it ends? Uh, I would be surprised if Acosta survives. I, and I'm not saying he did or didn't do his job, but I'd be surprised if he survives this. Mm -hmm. And I would be surprised if, uh, if Epstein didn't spend a fair amount of time in jail. But they ha the, the thing is whether New York has him on things that are New York related. New York related. I, I don't think they're going to be able to go back and revisit the Florida and it, Well, it sounds like they might not have to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. The book is called Filthy Rich. Yeah. Uh, it is a pleasure to have you here. James thank Patterson, you. thank you. Thank you.